Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Deploy the Fleet SDK to integrate Deploy the Fleet with your ESP IDF project natively. If you prefer to use the Arduino programming environment, we have getting started tutorials for that, uh, which I'll link in the description below. This tutorial is specifically for integrating with your ESP IDF project natively uh, using our SDK. And so to get started, we're going to come here to the Deploy the Fleet uh, website, deploythefleet.io. There is a getting started tutorial that you can follow if you click on getting started or get started. And then there's this ESP32 ESP IDF quick start guide. And all the instructions are right here uh, that we will be going through. So the first step in this process is to download the Deploy the Fleet SDK Playground project. It is a GitHub repository. It's linked in that quick start guide. I'll also put a link in the description, but it has everything out of the box to let you test drive Deploy the Fleet using the SDK. Um, there's also instructions in that get started guide that show you how to integrate it into an existing project. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the playground as it's the quickest way to get up and going to kind of test drive things. And so I have already cloned that repository, this DTF SDK playground, you can see it here. And the first thing that we're gonna do after cloning it is we need to set a couple of things up uh, so this will connect to your Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna come in here and run IDF Pi menu config. And we're gonna come down to component config. And then all the way at the bottom, you'll see two deploy the fleet sections. The first one is the deploy the fleet SDK playground. The second is deploy the fleet SDK. We don't need to change any SDK settings by default, but for this example, we do need to make some changes to the playground, which there's a Wi-Fi section here where you will set up your SSID and password so that it can connect. Obviously for Deploy the Fleet to work and to get updates, you need to have an active internet connection. The SDK does not manage that for you in your project. You'll have your own way of managing your connectivity. Um, but for the purpose of the playground, we have a very simple uh, Wi-Fi connectivity um, method that, that connects to your Wi-Fi. So you set the SSID and password there, and then you need to set the Deploy the Fleet product ID. Now to get this, you'll need an existing product in Deploy the Fleet. And so I'm logged into my Deploy the Fleet account here. You can see I have this ESP32C, ESP IDF firmware project set up. We're gonna ignore this active firmware for now, but if we come to the dashboard, we have this update URL. All we want for the SDK is this portion of it, the product ID. So we'll just copy that from our dashboard. And then you can see I've already set it here in menu config. And so once you've set those things, you'll exit out, make sure to save your changes. And also, uh, however you have your IDF project set up, you'll need to make sure that your SDK config file is regenerated to update um, with those settings um, so that they're pulled in when you build. Okay, and let's go ahead and clear this. Now, all we really need to do is build our project. So I'm gonna do idf.py build. And while that's building, what I have here is just a, it's an ESP32 dev kit C, uh, just a little evaluation board that we're gonna be using to demonstrate this. Okay, so that all built, I hit clear again here. And then what I'm going to do at this point is it's looking for updates from Deploy the Fleet, but for our first version, we need to build it and then upload it. And so um, now that it's built, I'm gonna come down to Deploy the Fleet. I'm gonna to come to Firmware. I'm gonna do Upload a New Firmware. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag that file in here. And just navigate over to it. And it's just the bin file that is in your build folder in, um, in IDF. So I'm gonna grab that bin file. You can actually just drag and drop it in here. You can see DTF SDK playground.bin. The version number I'm gonna give it is 1.0.0. And we'll just say initial release. And you see I have mark as product default selected, and that is what I 
I would like this to be the, the default firmware. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload that. This other one is just from a previous uh, demonstration, so I'm gonna delete this old one. So this is what you should see in your setup. If, you, if you're following from the beginning, you have a new product, it has one active firmware, and it's that firmware that we just created. And so we're gonna come back here and we're gonna go idf.py flash monitor which will flash this onto our device and monitor if we have our device plugged in. There we go. Okay, and so what this will do, the, the firmware is very simple. I'll show you that here in just a minute. Um, if we can just go over to it. All it does is connect to your Wi-Fi, check for an update from Deploy the Fleet, and then loops and prints out the version. And so you'll see it go through here, connecting to Wi-Fi. Um, and once it does connect, you'll go through, you'll see you get the message from DTF OTA, no updates are available. And that's because we're running the current firmware version. And then it just prints out that version over and over again, 1.0.0. Now, if we come back to deploy the fleet, see it says no devices, but if we come over to the devices, it'll refresh that. And you'll see now we have one device it's reporting version 1.0.0. If we come back to firmware, this is updated as well. You'll see the 1.0.0 uh, firmware has one device um, associated with it. And so that's all it takes to get our program, um, our firmware connected to deploy the fleet. And, and again, I, I won't go through all the firmware here. It's very short. You can see about 50 lines of code. Again, just boots up, checks for firmware, and then loops the version. But now um, let's show how we would uh, get an update from Deploy the Fleet. And so I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of the monitor here, clear that. And I'm gonna change my version. In this case, I just have it set up to use a version.txt. So we're gonna change this to version 2.0.0. I'm gonna do an idf.py build. I'm gonna do just a build for now, because if I do a flash monitor, it's going to flash that version and then say, deploy the fleet, do you have any updates? It will say yes, 1.0, and then it's gonna roll me immediately back. So I'm not gonna do that. So I, I've built that firmware. I'm gonna come back into here and do upload, and upload a new firmware. Again, I'm just going to drag and drop that executable there. If you click on that as well, it'll show you a file selection dialog. So that's another way you can do that. And then I'm gonna make this 2.0.0. And there's nothing special in this, nothing special. And now I'm going to mark this as the product default as well. Anytime you mark it as the default, that is the firmware that you will be delivered from Deploy the Fleet. I'm gonna do upload. And now you'll notice a small change here. 2.0.0 now has this green bar indicating that it is the default. It has no devices. And this one stays up here as active firmware because as far as Deploy the Fleet knows, there's still a device using it, as it says, one device. Um, and it stays up here. Once it removes out of the active firmware state, it'll, it'll come down here to the inactive firmware list. And so let's go ahead and show you how that works. Okay, so now that 2.0 is the default, I'm not going to flash this 2.0 firmware. I'm just going to do an idf.py monitor. That'll cause, cause a reboot of my device, and then it should check for an update. And so let's go ahead and see that. It's gonna restart. It's going to connect to Wi-Fi, uh, which takes a second. There's a retry here. There it goes, checking for updates. And then you'll see that it's, if you have logging turned on, you'll see that it's writing to a partition because it found an update. And we can see that writing to partition. We can see that if we come down to devices here, you'll see over here in the reported version, it reported 1.0, but this little purple right here indicates that Deploy the Fleet has sent version 2.0 down to the device. And so on this particular example, uh, so you can see it, it, it wrote to the thing and now it's saying version 1.0.0, firmware update response is zero, which is success. If we come and we look at the source code, you can see I have this DTF OTA config type. I have the product ID, which pulls the product ID out of our settings. And then I have this reboot option set to DTF no reboot, which means it will update the firmware in your flash partition. 
uh, but it will not reboot the device. You can change this to DTF reboot and it will, as soon as it's finished writing that successfully, it'll reboot. Um, but one of the features is to, to reboot on your schedule. And so this will just return and say, I successfully updated the flash, reboot whenever you'd like. And so that's why it's still saying version 1.0.0. But what I can do is I can hit the reset button here on my device. You'll see it reboot. Again, it's gonna go through, connect to Wi-Fi. Okay, and as soon as it does that, it's gonna check for an update and it's gonna say no updates available because we are now running the current and you'll see that we're now running version 2.0.0. We can see that reflected in the Deploy the Fleet dashboard. If we just hit our refresh here, you'll see that it goes from the update path to showing it is now reporting version 2.0.0. We come back to the firmware tab. Again, you'll see the active 2.0.0 has one device and our 1.0.0 has moved down into the inactive firmware section because as far as we know, there are no devices running it. And so that's how simple it is to integrate the Deploy the Fleet SDK. Just really quickly before we close, I'll show you the code for that. It's very simple for integrating this into your project. This is our boilerplate connect to Wi-Fi that you'll have however um, best suits your project. And then we just have this config uh, struct that we set up with our information and then we call DTF get firmware update and pass it that config. That's really all it takes to integrate the Deploy the Fleet SDK into your project. And so feel free to send any questions if you have any questions. Otherwise, uh, good luck integrating into your firmware project and have a great day.